Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the lizard fossil that looks like a Chinese dragon. First note. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. Odysseus has landed on the moon and made history as the first private spacecraft to successfully land on the lunar surface. Our equipment is on the surface of the moon, and we are transmitting. So, congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. That's from NASA's live footage of the Houston control room, following a few minutes delay establishing a connection. But touchdown on the moon South Pole happened at around 20 to midnight last night. Steve Ultimus, CEO of Intuitive Machines, the firm behind the Odysseus lunar lander, shared this message after the landing was confirmed. Uh, What an outstanding effort. I know this was a nail biter, but we are on on the surface and we are transmitting and uh, welcome to the moon. It's a huge feat for the space exploration company, and it's thought the mission's success will open the floodgates to more future private missions to the moon. Now, from the very latest spacecraft launch to one of the very earliest, NASA engineers are carrying out a final push to re-establish communication with Voyager 1 after losing contact. We think perhaps maybe a cosmic ray hit a place in the computer, maybe flipped a bit. We don't know. And so Voyager 1 went from sending back good science and engineering data to all of a sudden sending back just a series of ones and zeros very repetitively. So in a sense, Voyager 1 went from having a conversation with us to now just essentially there's sort of a dial tone. That's Linda Spilker from NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab, who's been talking to us about the probe. It was launched back in 1977 and has ventured more than 15 billion miles from Earth, securing its place as the furthest travelled object made by humanity. However, since mid-November last year, Voyager 1 has struggled to transmit its data back to Earth. Linda told us how they're trying to re-establish communication. We think the main computer, the flight data system, may be the place with the problem. So we've tried a number of simple fixes, turning things on and off, et cetera. And we know we can command Voyager. We've told it to go to, for instance, a a higher rate of sending back data. That was successful. So we know it still can take commands from us. During its more than 40 years in space, the probe found new moons around Jupiter, spotted another ring around Saturn, and took a special picture of all the planets together in one shot. Linda told us what Voyager 1 will do if they can't re-establish communication. If we can't fix it, then Voyager 1 will continue on. We have this gold record on board, and the cover of the gold record shows a picture of a man and a woman relative to the spacecraft, and on board that record are over 100 pictures of places on the Earth, and also hello in many different languages. So in a sense, we're sending our message in a bottle. Scientists believe they may have worked out the underlying cause of long COVID brain fog. Experts say coronavirus caused disruption in the blood-brain barrier of some people who caught it, suggesting it could be the cause of the cognitive issues seen in those struggling with the condition. After analysing the serum and plasma samples of COVID patients who needed hospital treatment in 2020, researchers from Trinity College Dublin and research centre Future Neuro found that those with long COVID who had leaks in the blood-brain barrier had brain fog, while those without disruption did not. It's hoped this new understanding of the underlying cause will allow experts to develop targeted therapies for patients in the future. Now, picture a typical Chinese red dragon. Paleontologists in the Guzhou province in southern China have found a fossil that looks just like that, and they've depicted it in full for the first time. It's the skeleton of a long-necked 240 million year old marine reptile called the Dinocephalosaurus orientalis, which was originally identified in 2003. But the discovery of additional, more complete specimens since then has enabled an international team of scientists to depict the creature in full. Experts have shared an artist's impression of the creature from the Triassic period, with a snake-like head, a super long neck, and sharp teeth. Coming up, how snakes hit the evolutionary jackpot. Stay up to date with the latest tech and science news. Hit follow during the break. Welcome back. There's more evidence that the ice in Antarctica is melting at a dangerously fast rate. 
Research shows that undersea anchors of ice that help prevent Antarctica's land ice from slipping into the ocean are shrinking at more than twice the rate compared with 50 years ago. The anchors are called pinning points, and they form when part of a floating ice sheet anchors itself to an elevation on the ocean floor, creating a visible bump on the otherwise smooth ice shelf surface. By examining images of these ice anchors over the years, experts at the University of Edinburgh found the number of these pinning points that shrank increased to 25% from 1990 to 2000, and 37% from 2000 to 2022. Scientists at the University of Southampton have found that bacterial cells buddy up their defense systems to fight off viruses, a discovery which could change the game when it comes to tackling antimicrobial resistance. Experts at the uni found that within each cell of bacteria, different defense systems combine to fight off phage viruses aka the good viruses designed to kill bad bacteria but keep the good stuff intact. The researchers said that by learning how bacteria defend themselves, they can develop effective strategies to kill them off using phage viruses when antibiotics don't work. And finally, an international team of scientists say snakes hit the evolutionary jackpot millions of years ago. And it turns out that speed was a big factor. Snakes evolved up to three times faster than lizards, with massive shifts in traits associated with feeding, locomotion, and sensory processing. Researchers say the key to their success was the development of legless bodies, advanced chemical detection systems, aka how they smell with their tongue, and flexible skulls, which allowed them to pursue a broad range of prey and live in almost any environment. You are up to date. We're back on Monday afternoon at 1. See you then.